So a few days ago, I was preparing to do this panel and I decided to just do a simple Google image search of nuclear waste. And this is what we see, um, large, what look like oil drums, largely bright yellow and glowing. Some of them have liquid leaking out of them and they look to be strewn across the landscape. So it really speaks to the power of the uh, culture of the US that a lot of these images seem to come from the Simpsons or that sort of image of nuclear waste. And as an environmental sciences major, nuclear waste not only is not a problem, I actually think it should be the technology's chief selling point. But I don't think people normally get to see images of what nuclear waste actually looks like. And if we could go to the next slide. So that top left uh, corner picture is me taking a selfie with the nuclear waste facility that we have in Illinois. And when we talk about nuclear waste concerns, what most people are referring to is the high level nuclear waste. And I'm happy to report it's not liquid, it's actually solid metal. So in that picture of me demonstrating, that's a fuel assembly. So nuclear fuel is made up of uranium pellets that are put into metal tubes and put together in a bundle. And that's exactly what goes into the reactor to fuel it. That's actually what comes out as well. Then it sits in a pool, it cools off for five to 10 years, and then we put them into these large steel and concrete casks, as you can see in one of the above pictures. Those are two of my friends hugging nuclear waste. And actually there's a picture also of a current nuclear waste facility we have that actually displays art. So very different than what exists in the public mind. But nuclear does have a problem, and nuclear waste specifically has a problem, which is that members of the public and policymakers think that there's a nuclear waste problem. Obviously, we can attest that the prevailing thoughts behind nuclear waste is that radiation makes nuclear waste uniquely dangerous, and the industry has no idea what to do with it. And that's simply not true. We know that radiation diminishes with time and that in countries all over the world including my home the USA nuclear waste is already safely managed and nuclear waste just isn't that unique compared to other industries we deal with toxic waste all the time including lead mercury arsenic ammonium cadmium things that never become less toxic so yesterday there was a debate held here and one of the chief talking points was nuclear waste is dangerous for a million years. But every day across all industries, we deal with compounds and chemicals that are dangerous for a billion years or a trillion years that never have that diminishing safety. But we don't talk about the fact that we can't have fertilizer. We accept that there are practices in place that allow us to safely manage those more dangerous um, compounds so that the public isn't exposed to them. So what do, we, what do we do about that? So far, the industry, rather than have open, honest conversations about the waste, bringing people into these facilities, showing them the waste, allowing them to touch the waste, hug the cast, having field trips, Instead, they've um, talked about how in the future, at some point, we'll have permanent technical solutions to the waste issue. So in the US, so far, we have spent $15 billion on the Yucca Mountain project, a project that will save zero lives, prevent zero cancers, avoid zero injuries, but will have the negative effect of reinforcing the idea that nuclear waste is so dangerous that at great expense, it must be shipped across the country and buried in the middle of the desert, deep, 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 deep down in order for nuclear energy to be okay. But it doesn't have to be like that. And there are amazing facilities already in existence today 
that demonstrate the potential for what nuclear waste can be like and the potential that the public has to interact with it. Specifically in the Netherlands, that's the image there that I've shown. And they have a facility that manages all of the country's nuclear waste. It's open to the public. I've actually gone to visit. They have art installations there. And you can actually walk on top of the highest level nuclear waste, which is under the floor. So I think that if we're going to change the perception about nuclear so that we, it is defined by the environmental and economic and security benefits that it offers, we need to start combating some of these negative public perceptions. And I think one of the best ways to do that is just bringing the public on by and allowing them to see it for themselves. I think the worst thing that could happen is that they're going to be extremely bored because, like I said, it's just a lot of big steel and concrete containers. But the best thing that happens is that it replaces the scary images that are in their mind and that they see on Google or social media with what's real, and maybe they'll learn something about nuclear along the way.